Hello and welcome. Hello everybody and welcome to my latest project here at the Natural History Museum in Karlsruhe, Germany. It's a little bit unusual that I'm sitting here, but um, inside. So this is our latest project I made together with the company Back to Nature here uh, last, last week, something else. And this is a special kind of aquarium, maybe Terra, and I think it's more aquarium, for a Chinese, um, Chinese giant salamander. Uh, later during the video I'll show you the salamander too, it's in the, in the basement of the museum. And I just want to explain you what we do here or what we had, what we done here. So overall I don't know exactly the size of the tank for this reason. I go inside to show you uh, the size a little bit. And uh, you need to know that the water, pair, the water level will be around, uh, I think something like here. This is the water level of the tank later. The salamander himself is actually around 120 centimeter, uh, not 1 meter 20 centimeter, so 120 centimeter actually, I think something like this. And I try to explain you what's, what's the goal of, or what's our, uh, what's the target of this tank. So I am now the salamander. So, and sorry, let me. So I'm the salamander and this is my cave. Hey. So I live here in the cave normally and the goal is that the salamander coming out. And this is his area, he can move. So we have the place here moving around and we having a second part of cave here that the people who uh, visit the, the museum can also see the salamander. It's also sometimes not easy to see them. So the dark cave behind me where I sit down, this is the place there he lives maybe 80% and the rest he can move around. <sighs> what else? And yes, these are all things here are made by Back to Nature. We put, put on, the, on the side and also the big rocks here, hanging rocks and this is the, the the second cage and as I told you the water level will be here around them and we have some plants over here. Yes and the rest I go out now and show you behind the camera. I think it's easier for me. So, see you soon. Oh shit! So now I'm out and I can show you a little bit more about the details about this tank. So this is the east part of the museum and it's just close at the, actually because of the corona thing and I think we'll be reopened in June or something else and uh, also uh, we, I finish this work maybe in the next two three weeks, some details and the salamander I think will be go on, go in maybe in July something else. So what we do here, we put some slimline backgrounds from Back to Nature. Normally you put them on the, the side or in the background. But in this reason we also put them on the bottom of the tank. I close this here with a gray silicon and some uh, sand fragments later so that we have a closed uh, bottom. But uh, also we uh, put some three or five centimeter gravel on the top. It's better for the, uh, for the salamander. The reason why we do this is because when the salamander is uh, removing the sand that he is not uh, uh, sitting on the glass, he's sitting on a natural yeah, bottom and it's, it looks not so ugly if he moves the sand something like left and right and it's also better for him to move on this kind of structure button. So it's just a bottom under the gravel. And yeah, what we do also we, we uh, add this slim line here on the left side and the right side and then we play with the rocks to give this tank a little bit more structure and as I told you we're having this cave here behind where the salamander is living maybe 80 percent and if you visit the museum and you are lucky he comes in front and can move here and he has this second cave 
where he can hide a little bit and go on to his sleeping station or that out. So we, the, the, the water level will be around here, so the caves are underwater and we are going to make this 30 centimeter free. On the air uh, we are having some plants hanging here and uh, yeah, that's all. And um, we, you see also we have these giant rocks here hanging on the right side and the left side. And we need only two days for this setup because it's very easy to play with this kind of decoration. You have to glue them and uh, yeah, you can finish the work like this with two people in only two days. So I only make the details in the next um, two, three weeks and finish it. And we have also to, we need to install the technical equipment and uh, everything. Also the light is only temporary. I just need a little bit light that I can show you this tank. So that's all. And before I finish, now I go to the dungeon and not dungeon, to the basement and show you the giant salamander. Bye bye. Now I'm at the basement at the National History Museum at the dungeons. This is the temporary tank where the um, salamander is located and is waiting till we finish the aquarium for him, for her. I don't know exactly if it's a her or a him. And uh, yeah, it's very impressive to be so close at this animal. You see the eyes here and it's around, I think, one 120 centimeter at the moment. So very impressive to see this animal so close. It's also the first time for me. I think it's a hungry guy, but I don't have any food for him. So anyway, I just want to show you him, her, sorry, and to see what's going inside this special kind of Acra paludarium, however you want to give them a name. Thanks very much for watching and I will keep you updated uh, with this special kind of tank. If you like it, give me a comment, give me a like or something else. And uh, because it's the first time I'm doing a salamander scape and no experience before. And so let's see how it looks later or finished and how it looks when the salamander is going inside. Thank you. Bye bye. See you.